<laughs> um, I mean, technically, I mean, yeah, the circumstances of one's birth does not that. matter. It's what they do with the gift of life that matters. I, you down. didn't say it. No. No. That that that, no, that's, that's YouTube. Meowth is the one that said, oh, I guess you are right. The same earth, the same sky. Yeah, we got right. a lot in common. If we focused on that, well, then hey, who knows? Go through this in the kitchen, yeah. What's that? Uh, cameras. PlayStation. You ready, Joe? Five, four, three. Yes. Two. Jesus, why? You're not debating this one. Action! 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 action Welcome. Action, action, action. Welcome. 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 With guest judge Riley today. Oh, hi, Riley. Yeah, Riley's in camera. Andrew isn't. I mean, that is Andrew. Uh, anyway, continuing on. Uh, so today our matchup is Nate Spencer from Bionic Commando. Yes, 2009 to be specific. Okay, I was going to say which one. And Mewtwo. And that one's a little more complicated because we'll one. It's complicated in itself. Uh, so for purposes of balance, we will say uh, because Mewtwo technically is coded into the newest games, we'll go with the modern updated. So okay. just to make it easier. So essentially just Pokemon, Mewtwo, not Smash, Mewtwo. Correct. Okay. Mewtwo, <laughs> two, Pokemon, Mewtwo. So, who is the higher seed? Nate Spencer is yes. this time. Sean. Heads or tails? Heart of the cards. We're going heads. Tails! tails. Oh, I didn't even know that quarter had a tail. Alex. Defer or... Do you want to go first again? Let's head to it first. One. I know. Uh, you know what? I'll go first. Okay. Yeah. Take my seat. You guys stay in camera. Right. It's it's not because so I won last here. time. Uh, more or less, I just I want to get the main argument of you two done, so we can just dive into real the conversation. Movie. So, <clears throat> you two, we're all familiar with here. It is the standard Pokemon that we all know. It is the genetically created Pokemon uh, that, you know, comes from the DNA of the ancestor Mew. It is a powerful, psychic-type Pokemon. And that's important. So, Mewtwo has psychic abilities, which means levitation, teleportation, lifting objects with its mind, that kind of thing. Uh, those are just inherent of a psychic type. They're not actual moves. Uh, that's an important thing to note is that uh, in the games, there's a limit of how many attacks you have, but it doesn't mean a Pokemon can't do things outside of its moves, because, you know, just because a Pokemon doesn't have bite doesn't mean it starves to death. It knows how to bite, it just doesn't know how to attack with the bite. So they do have those inherent abilities, so it does have psychic abilities, it can read minds, things like that, but it can't, like, damage you with it unless it's a move itself. Uh, so with that in mind, I did pick a move set for Mewtwo that sticks within, you know, the rules and confines. So his main psychic attack is Psy Strike, which allows it's a psychic move that does physical damage, but it is classified as a special move. So it is using psychic energy to essentially create psychic spikes that drill into the enemy. Uh, obviously it's not like physical drills, but it's psychic energy. So it would do like kinetic damage, psychic damage, mental damage, whatever you want to consider that in a non-Pokemon realm. Uh, it's a fairly high damage in the games. Uh, those numbers mean absolutely nothing to anyone. It's a base 90 power with a base 100% accuracy. Uh, second move is Aura Sphere, which is literally taking your aura and forcing it forward. Uh, that would be a fighting type move, but it is in fact still, you know, that energy of the being being forced out. Uh, this is an 80 base power with a what kind of damage instant is it? hit. It has a what bypass kind of accuracy check. 
So it is a guaranteed hit. Uh, terrible loss. Okay. What? It is, uh, it's a physical sphere that hits, so take that as you will. Terrablast is a new move from the newest generation. Um, it takes your strongest stat and makes it either a special attack or a physical de- attack, depending on what is stronger. You two is special, so it's another, like, it will physically hit you, but it does more like the mental damage. Um, but it is associated to your Terra type, which I'll talk about in just a second. Uh, default is normal, but once it Terra charges, it changes to that type, so we'll talk about it in a second. And then Recover. So it can recover some of its health as it loses. Uh, recover is the lowest uh, amount of uses. As of Generation 9, it's only 5 uses rather than the traditional 10. So it's not like I can infinitely spam it. It's a couple times here and there. Uh, Terror Blast is another 100% accuracy move, uh, and it is a base 100 move. So take that as you will. That's not percentage, that's numbers. Uh, Mewtwo's highest stat is special attack. Uh, so it's special moves, which all of these fit into, are its most powerful attacks. Uh, it has a very high health, that's its second highest stat, and then its speed stat. So it is a very intelligent and powerful being that is bulky enough with health and speed so it's fast but it does not have a huge defense so if you do get in there and do some damage it's going to deal a lot of damage but it's not necessarily uh it's yeah you get what i'm saying uh mewtwo is six foot seven canonically and weighs 269 pounds you want to get that out there uh, because it's a psychic type, its only real weaknesses that do more damage are bugs, ghosts, and dark types. Um, its ability is pressure, which makes uh, attacks more difficult. In the games, it makes the moves use twice the amount of power points. So I would say the equivalent is it makes it more difficult to do an attack. It would still attack, but it just it's harder. Um, so default is psychic type. It's terror type I picked. Ghost type, so it loses that weakness to ghost. However, it does retain that darkness weakness. Uh, ghosts are one of the few that have weird resistances and weaknesses. So essentially, once a Terra type uh, Terra changes, its only weakness is the darkness, and that's it. Let's hear about Nathan Spencer. So Nathan Rad Spencer, yes, his middle name yes. is Rad, Better than that. which stands for Research and Development, was a former United States Army member. And what happened is, is he lost his left arm to a grenade. So what happened is, is he was given not only a cybernetic left arm, but he also was given superhuman strength. Nathan Spencer's specific attacks, he uses a multitude of firearms in his right hand, and in his left hand, his primary function is swinging and grappling. His arm will actually extend out generally about two times his entire body length, so it is a long stretch with this arm. His arm is also able to lift a car in just that single hand and throw the car as a as a projectile item. So this arm has the strength to throw a, a two-ton vehicle. Um, another thing about him is, is that his arm, and this became canon in Bionic Commando 2009, is actually powered by the ghost of his wife. So his arm is a ghost type in all technicality. You are right there. So I feel like a good portion of his um, control in the game is evasion. He uses this arm to not only get to higher platforms, but he can use it to grab onto higher platforms to use it as an evasion of attacks that are coming at him. So I feel like he would have more um, maneuverability and avoidance 
The other thing that I would say is Mewtwo, specifically in the Pokemon games, all of his attacks are turn-based. So he is not going to attack me while I am attacking him. So he will also not necessarily do an evasion unless he ups his evasion prior to me attacking him. So I'll be able to get in attacks when he's not attacking me. And that's all that I have to say. I think it's on to you for the first question. But rebuttal, I'll let you start. So my big thing is that if we go by uh, RPG logic of turn base, that that would definitely impact some other things. Like Isaac is a from a RPG game. Gino is from an RPG game. Um, I. I would argue that, you know, turn-based for balancing for a game would not necessarily uh, equivalent equivalent to a live tournament. Um, I definitely think Mewtwo's weakness in this is that uh, he can only use his moves so much. I will definitely still abide by the power point structure. Um, the only move that has decent power points is Aura Sphere at 20. The rest are 10 or lower. So it's not like it can just spam all the best attacks. Um, so I would definitely argue that turn base is not a one to one, um, but I would say that Mewtwo is probably at a disadvantage as far as attack speed. Um, but to throw out some more arguments in favor of Mewtwo, um, all of the attacks being special attacks means that they don't necessarily have to be you know, Mewtwo making contact with the individual. They are projectile things. Um, in terms that might make sense to some of you, but maybe not others, um, Psy Strike is kind of like Piccolo's uh, Hell Zone grenades where it surrounds and comes in. So it's not like it has, it's a straight beam. Terror Blast is a straight attack. It has to, you know, either make contact or the person has to hit them with the energy. Uh, and Aura Sphere being a guaranteed hit, I would assume that it has minor homing. I won't say it's like a guarantee, like it's going to find you wherever you go, because obviously if you use Fly or Dig, it doesn't work on them, but it does, no matter how high the evasion is, it still hits them. So I would say it has minor homing, but not enough to be like, oh, go around the corner, immediate 90 degree. It would like, swerve in that direction, but probably not ever turn around fully. At least as far as uh, Aura Sphere is concerned. So the only rebuttal that I would add in is, as I said before, Nathan Spencer's arm is literally a ghost type. <clears throat> if we are going within the same confines of the game, even if Mewtwo no longer has an aversion to ghost type, the type base will still hurt <coughs> just as much. So it wouldn't. It will always be effective. It just won't be super effective against me too. Yeah. So it wouldn't be a critical hit, but every single one would do damage on him if it's an attack from the arm. And I think that that's good for me. All right. So I might have multiple questions here. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Sean, you said he can use guns. Yes. What? What kind of gun is he bringing to this battle here? I've never played. So, it, I don't know what kind of guns he has. So he's just like any other, you know, Contra or whatever. As he comes across them, he picks them up. In this instance, I was just going with a regular handgun because I don't really see guns being really effective against Mewtwo at all. Um, I think the majority of my damage is going to be coming from my cybernetic arm in this case, especially knowing that Mewtwo does have an aversion to ghost type. So, so the gun's trivial at this point. Alex? Mm -hmm. In the games, <clears throat> is there a history or a case of Mewtwo attacking a human? <laughs> I think there's a movie yes. about it. Well, it's not a movie. Like no, no, no. It's a movie. So, yes, because the Cerul or not Cerul Jesus, the Cinnabar Mansion in the games is canonically where Mewtwo was created, and it is ruined by the time you reach there. Like, he actively destroyed the building on his way out. 
it is now decrepit and filled with, you know, poisonous Pokemon as well as Ditto's, which may or may not failed clones of Mew. Um, but at the same time, uh, we do know that the primary scientist, Dr. Fuji, is still alive because it's Mr. Fuji in Lavender Town. So I don't know that he's necessarily killed someone, but he definitely caused enough destruction that he could. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Um, with the attacks you've loaded in there, yes. can you two stop a bullet or can he only evade a bullet with his base evasion? That is a complex question because there's. You could make the debate that the move bullet seed is equivalent to using a real world bullet, but at the same time, it's like. We've never actually had a real world bullet situation with Mewtwo, uh, given the psychic powers and being the most powerful psychic type in general. Um, I would say probably by default, the. You know, be able to read the mind that they're going to shoot a bullet and they'll stop it. Like, you know, we see in The Matrix and every other bullshit where there's some kind of psychic abilities. Um, but given just the attacks alone, could use Aura Sphere to destroy the bullets. And if he does get hit, could use Recover to recover the damage. So, What is the, uh, the uh, PP on the uh, regeneration? Five. You can use it five times. I got one more question. Sean, what kind of damage does he do with his robot arm? <laughs> well, it's a robot arm that can crush boulders, it can crush cars, it rock can, smash yeah. as a move. Like <laughs> So it's it has the ability to just crumple something, you know. So I'd say whatever it takes to Smash a boulder with your hand, or you know, beer can a car with just your hand. I would make an argument in Sean's case for Nate Spencer that his mechanical robot arm has equivalent strength to any standard fighting type Pokemon because they do usually have the ability for rock smash, which is to destroy giant boulders and strength to move giant objects more than their size. I would say that Nate Spencer's arm is of equivalent strength as a Pokemon. Putting that out there. It doesn't help. Sean, what you said to help, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, you're next. Can you give me any more information about the uh, ghost in the fucking arm? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's... It was one of the things about the game that's okay, like, I'm what? With you there. So originally in the first game, all it was was he had a cybernetic arm. That's it. Then in the this <clears throat> this requel, because it's kind of a remake but also a sequel, um, they started having where more and more people had cybernetic enhancements, but they were all going insane. So they the, the spoiler at the end of the game. <clears throat> is it's revealed that the reason that he is so um, connected with his arm and why it works for him is because the soul of his wife was implanted into the device. And because of their I'd relationship be real. I've been in stewing life, on that ever since that you said it. That is why they have such uh, strong <laughs> um, Okay, okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> have you, Ryan, have you ever played okay. Dishonored? Okay. That's still buck. I would exert like the heart. I, I can I can wrap my mind around it if nothing else. Um, all right, uh, Alex. Um, with with the um, you you did mention yeah. uh the the uh, terraform, uh, into ghost. Um. Now. Do you feel yes. like that is going to be used like one way or the other, or is that something that in light of the ghost star will no longer be uh, uh, used? Uh, it definitely, so I see it more as a defensive strategy, um, simply because the way Terra typing works mm -hmm. in Pokemon right now is that the Pokemon changes its complete type 
to that. So whether it's a single type or a dual type, it becomes that new Terra type. So since Psychic's weakness is Ghost, not by Terra typing into Ghost, ghost is also it's removing ghost. that weakness. It's still going to hurt, but it's removing the extra damage. To be, it's super fucking complicated. <laughs> but yes. Um, yeah. But yeah, I see it more as a defensive piece. Um, I don't know. I can't speak for Mewtwo in this case. I don't know what it would do in battle. It's highly intelligent, so I don't know what it would do. Uh, but I don't think that it's necessarily off the table. Um but I see it as more as defensive rather than offensive. Jordan? I have a series of questions for Alex. Oh, fuck, okay. okay. <laughs> I like to, uh, You said Mewtwo has a ghost Terra type and can use Terra Blast. Correct. Technically, Mewtwo is not available in Scarlet and Violet yet. So we do not confirm that Mewtwo can get a Terra type. Technically, yeah. we don't officially know that. Well, so in the game, there is uh, a, a cook that can change your Pokemon's Terra type as long as you have 50 Terra shards of that type. So technically, any Pokemon can be any Terra type. Um, but the more complicated matter is because uh, early data of Pokemon that are in the code but have not been released to the public yet, which includes several of the raids we've seen. Mewtwo is one of those Pokemon, so it is in the game. It's just locked behind a, we're not releasing the event, we're not connected to home yet. So it does exist, but it, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll allow that. Pokemon has gone off fucking rails. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, as a, as a follow-up to that, Yes. Terra typing only works after turn three of attacks. Uh, no, in a terror raid, raid, yes. Battle. In a regular battle, technically, it... does it? But yes. can you... yeah, yeah, but it, you could consider this a battle as a terror raid, technically. But... I... You're not I... a wild it... Pokemon. You're but facing it... a Mewtwo it... under its own influence. It would be already terror typed, and so <laughs> we're we're getting into semantics that I don't think matters to the. <laughs> Other you were confused at not Pokemon judges. Yeah, yeah. Hell. <laughs> so, well, I think it's it's creating more confusion for the judges than it is clarifying. Oh, my gun question was too simple, and over here we're talking. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I did have some questions about like the BP and stuff like that you were using for the new two, but I decided to skip those questions. <laughs> Yeah, like I had like, like the turn base was my question was gonna be my question, but then Sean. That's why I, I did specify that it's. Uh, we are assuming that it would be, okay. uh, you know, max yeah. uh, IV and EV trained, typically in special attack, health, and speed, which is why I, I specifically okay, went through. So this was like a board. sweaty person okay, those made this Mewtwo sure like absolutely perfect. Like, yeah, like they, yeah, like, they went fair. real hard on this. Spent like twenty hours making this Mewtwo. Try, try hard. Okay. okay. I'm excited to hear their votes and their reasons why. Right. Do you have things. questions before we get to voting? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I've got some questions. I want to. Pokemon related about terra typing and EVs? No, yeah, I want to <laughs> ask some questions to represent the um, you know people who are unfamiliar with all the minutia of Pokemon. Okay. Um, so, like from a, a more basic standpoint, how how are we imagining this fight? takes place. Mewtwo's got psychic type attacks. Nathan Spencer's got his more physical attacks. So what like what's to prevent Mewtwo from just like flying off in the distance and throwing psychic attacks at Nate Spencer and he just you know he can't really do much besides shoot at Mewtwo and things. So technically speaking, we've seen Mewtwo fly in the anime but not in, in the, the games, he game. doesn't fly. He can teleport, but okay. it's not like he can teleport anywhere. It's like a shh kind of 
short distance. He's like a night crawler. Okay. Yeah, so, so I, I would say he's not flying around. Okay. But he is probably moving. But it still sounds like he's got like I'm just trying to literally picture okay. this, this Joe. fight. He's oh, got Mewtwo okay. is range. Nathan Spencer, for all intents and purposes, right. if the gun is a moot point, he is getting in close. And the reality is because uh, Mewtwo's defense and special defense is the lowest. Mm -hmm. He's taking a lot of damage when he gets so, hit. So, what is, so if Mewtwo's not flying in this, because he isn't canonically flying in the game, mm -hmm. he's he like eleven. Right he's right over. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't let me fly. Right. Tell you what. So, so what's his uh, agility like? Because Nate Spencer's going to have to get him close to do a lot of damage. Um, what technically just gets he just has to get in the mid range. What yeah. well what prevents him from doing that? Like can you two just avoid him indefinitely by floating away really quickly, or is it reasonable to expect him to get in close and make him fly with the ghost arm? It is I would argue it's believable that he could get in close because Pokemon can attack Mewtwo even with its high speed and evasion. Mm -hmm. I would say even in the situation, uh Nate Spencer will eventually hit Mewtwo. I'm not saying that Mewtwo's infinitely running away. Um, um, I don't know how frequently, but he's still going to be able to make contact. How severe is bullet damage to Mewtwo? Right, like, right, right, right. As we've already discussed this, we don't have an equivalent. The closest you could say is some of the bullet attacks, like right. bullet seed and bullet punch. They are quick succession, but they tend to do not a whole lot of damage. But so, like, if he gets shot and gets a hole in um, Joe, 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 recover <laughs> heals but, them. But, can, but he can only use recover five times. Yes. So that means he can only if he gets shot six bullets. times, he's going to have a bullet wound. Okay, that's important to know. Um, you also, YouTube pocket YouTube. monsters. You mentioned YouTube reading minds. Is yes. That yes, yes, psychics can read people's minds. That's so, canon in the Pokemon games. So he can, so he can read his opponent's mind. Technically. Um, like, should I be? Or can he read the mind of his ghost arm? In my, no. <laughs> in my, so, in my decision, should I be imagining him reading Nate Spencer's mind during the whole fight and predicting no. every move? Not the whole fight. He okay. would be like he has to like focus to do it. Yes. Okay. It's not um, just you know he's hearing his thoughts. He's listening for. Them. Okay. Um, I have one follow-up question. Oh, yeah. Are we assuming that Mewtwo is limited only to his move set? Of what you chose? Yes. So, like, if he runs out of PP for all his moves, he is just a floating ball blob of Pokemon that can do nothing. Nope, he does struggle. That's the one thing all Pokemon have, is if they can't do any other things, they literally, like, flail around and hurt themselves and the opponents. So, but theoretically, could Mewtwo teleport in front of Nate Smith and whack him with his tail, just as, like, a purely offensive attack? You don't have a So I would say because he doesn't have slam. Since he doesn't have what there is a physical tail move called well, there's several, but uh tail slam one of them, but you he doesn't learn it. Seven. So it wouldn't do damage. I could hit him with the tail, but it's not gonna do enough to make it fight. It might just like throw him off a little bit, but it's not gonna do damage. Yeah. I have one last question, which is Without getting into details about types and stuff, mm -hmm. how does the ghost arm actually like, pragmatically impact Mewtwo? Um, so because Mewtwo has an inherent weakness to ghost types, uh -huh. I would argue that any damage that the hand deals directly to Mewtwo would be increased because it has that ghost-like entity. Does it there are dual through... types in Pokemon. It, I would argue that it's not going to cut through them, but it's going to do significant damage. Is, is the ghost or the ghost fight type? Is the ghost arm? Well, I would argue ghost steel, which we do have that. So, is the ghost arm unaffected by his no. psychic attacks and no. defenses? The only thing that it would be uh, resistant, well, it wouldn't be able to be hit by Aura Sphere. Or Terra Blast, but not Terra Type. But that's it's just all arm. Everything else would be fine. These are all the questions I have, but that uh, doesn't help me. <laughs> no, it's just, it's, it's, you vote last, so you're fine. Anybody else have any questions? All right. Then with that, we will move to the voting. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> 
ninety percent of the shit you guys said makes no sense to me. <laughs> On yeah. par for and, that 90, on and that ninety percent for both characters is out the window. Okay, let me tell you how I'm seeing this fight play out. And everybody's saying I don't know has played into my decision. <laughs> you said Nate Spencer picks up whatever weapon he's coming in here with a handgun. Yep. So it's safe to assume it's a military handgun. They use full metal jacket rounds. That leaves a huge ass bullet in an unarmored target. Now, depending on the handgun, the ammo, and the clip, and all that stuff, it's whatever. If Mewtwo hasn't been shot, which we don't know if he's ever been shot, we don't know how he's reacting to a bullet. True. Now, it would only take one bullet to kill Mewtwo. I would say, though, to counter that, that's a one in a million shot. So, it was brought up, it could be like a psychic character, almost like Neo, where he can destroy or stop the bullets. Nate Spencer, being a soldier, is not going to fire one bullet. So now if he fires one bullet at a time, you 2 has to destroy every single bullet. Or Nate Spencer could fire them all at once and hope one breaks through and kills you 2 Regardless, I think the gun is the biggest positive that Nate has here. Because it's an offensive weapon that could kill you 2 in one hit. Or it's enough to distract him or deplete one of Mewtwo's moves, and then he gets in there with the Ghost Arm and can kill him that way. It also... Did. So my vote is Nate Spencer. Um, <laughs> Who's next? My, my vote uh, <laughs> is going to go for Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, the, the my main reason <laughs> is it, okay, Mewtwo with max EVs and everything, Wait, like, no. and he's decked out with that. It's a one tap if he hits with Aura Sphere. Like, there's just there's no shot. Um, and I, I, I gotta say, I think with I think the specific inclusion of either Aura Sphere or if you had gone with Swift were going to be like the only ways I was going to just give this one to Mewtwo. And since you do have Aura Sphere on there, I'm going to send this Mewtwo's way. Jordan. I am following up with Ryan's and going with Mewtwo for the same reasons. Because I think Mewtwo is an aggressively powerful Pokemon. And anything he can do will overwhelm what Nate Spencer can do. Joe. Joe, you're the, you're the clincher here. Fuck. Um, man. It's... It's a tough call, you know, and I'm still deciding on it at this very moment. Um, what would help you decide one way or the other? You know, um, I'm digesting something that uh, Jordan and Ryan both said, mm -hmm. which is the severity of the aura sphere attack. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm imagining it correctly, like you're your target exists somewhere and he just pulls in a sphere of energy around them. That's size right. It's, no? Or a sphere is they're taking their energy and shooting it out. So they push it in a blast. Yes, okay. but it also has, this as I've said, it's a guaranteed hit unless they're like underground or up in the sky. So I would say it's not a direct homing, but it like goes in the air. holding them mm -hmm. in the air. Uh -huh. and the That's a different story. And the, and the ghost arm doesn't do anything to help uh, Nate Spencer with that, deal with that? If it would hit just the ghost arm, I would argue it wouldn't damage it. But if it hits anything of Nate Spencer himself, it would definitely one-shot kill him. My, my thought was, if it helps you at all, Joe, was that robot arm was going to be more invasive for Nate Spencer than off. And you can extend it out so far and pull almost like the hook shot. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I've got so many questions, and there's so many, so much minutia. Um,
<laughs> Hold on one sec. We're leaving them. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. The... <laughs> Some babe bruised it. <laughs> I like to point out I called it. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I guess we're back. I did as soon as it came, so that's why I told you to shut up. And another reason I'm choosing Nate Spencer is that I feel like I don't really understand all of the uh, details of these two, so I kind of want to force it to a coin. Before, <laughs> which I'm sure, I'm sure the Mewtwo mega fans will say is <laughs> absurd, really well. but I don't care. That's the format we're going with, and that's my Let decision. it show that the Pokey fanatics sided with the Pokey Master, and the two simple-minded fucks picked the soldier. <laughs> they simple picked the gun. Minded fucks. They picked yeah, the gun. I just there we go. go. I could have picked uh, from X and Y and gone with Mega, but I did decide Terra type, so that might have made a difference. Who knows? Because I feel like it wouldn't have made a difference to me. There's so have. much, you know, to talk about. Like if Mewtwo sees him coming, he can prepare. Does Mewtwo have ex in this scenario? Does Mewtwo have experience fighting people with guns? Because so, if he does, then he can block all the bullets like Neil. And if he got doesn't, the, I got the flip. first pick, so he gets the coin. He gets you know, the call. It. If <laughs> Nate Spencer gets the jump on him, he can just come up behind him and one shot him. <laughs> Move on, Joe. Move on. Alex picked. Pez. Let's see what it is. Who's dead? Who's alive? Tails! Oh, Nate Spencer! The Pokey fans are going to hate me for it, but just you. Whatever. I just told them Mewtwo's going to get one shotted by a bullet. That's true. The Pokey fans are going to hate us for it. Yeah, you know, I, I don't care. Come at me. I, I yeah. will definitely say it, it's, it's awkward to try and May bring these alternate universe and the way things work together. Mm -hmm. So am I disappointed that Mewtwo didn't go on? Yes. Am I glad Mewtwo didn't go on because I'd have to argue with myself about Garrus? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so truly, as much as I wanted Mewtwo to win, I'm okay with Nate Spencer winning simply because trying to make Pokemon work in a realistic setting that's Realistic in the air quotes sci fi. Yeah, I, 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 I'm it's, okay with it. I think it also speaks to just it's Mewtwo, right? They're trying to make psychic things work in uh, a magic magic context. Period. Is, yeah, it's, it's basically magic. It's like, oh, okay. So, all let's... I have to say is last, last tournament after we said that there would be no Capcom in the last tournament. I'm glad our only Capcom, Capcom reps went on is making it to the second round. Fucking A! <laughs> no, that is pretty hilarious. I noticed that, too. Uh, yeah, it will be Alex versus Sean again. Again. Yeah, but at least we'll be on yeah. a similar grounds this time. Yes. They, these, are more, these are more closely equivalent characters. Depends on the stipulation. Ooh, that is true. Um, but, yeah, so what's the next fight? Olimar versus Dante. From Dante's Inferno. <clears throat> Olimar versus Olimar, Olimar Inferno. Inferno. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. Okay. So um, I hope I'm sufficient. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> next, oh, time. next time. Join us next time.